डियर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू लोक सत्ता यशस्वी भव हैव यू एवर थॉट अबाउट वाई वी आर एबल टू सी द थिंग्स वॉट इज लाइट वॉट आर स्पेरिकल मिरर्स वॉट आर लेंसेस इन दिस चैप्टर वंडर्स ऑफ लाइट वी आर गोइंग टू गेट ऑल द एंसर्स ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन नो लेट से वॉट इज लाइट लाइट इज अ फॉर्म ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक रेडिएशन दैट गिव्स अ सेंसेशन ऑफ विजन when light falls on any object rays enter from the object to our eyes and we are able to see the things now here in this chapter we are going to see what is mirror and what are spherical mirrors so first let us see what is mirror what is a plane mirror plane mirror is a plane glass sheet coated with a reflecting surface and covered it by red color red color is given to protect the reflecting layer so with the help of plane mirror we are going to get our image properties of the image we are getting by plane mirror are the image is as same size of the object image is at the same place where object is placed in front of mirror if it is 10 feet then the image is also behind the mirror 10 feet and this image is virtual image we are not able to get print of this image so let us see what are spherical mirrors here it is written concave mirror and convex mirror spherical mirrors are the parts of sphere now what is concave mirror concave mirror is a part is a part of spherical glass whose inner side is coated with reflecting layer and the rays which are coming to inner part are reflected in this way so this concave mirror is also called as converging mirror now what is uh, what do you mean by converging of light when a beam of light when a beam of light or when light is coming to set in one point when all rays of light come and meet in one point that is said to be convergence of light when we want a beam of light we are using this convergence of light now what is convex mirror if the outer side or outer part of spherical mirror or convex side of spherical mirror is polished then the rays are refracted in such a way here you can see a beam parallel to principal axis is coming over the reflected portion and they are reflected and they are spread all over so here this mirror is also called as diverging mirror now what is divergence of light divergence of light means when light rays spread in all the direction in all the directions it is called as divergence so in this mirror rays are spread all over now what are concepts related to spherical mirrors first let us say center of curvature the spherical mirrors are part of some sphere the center of this sphere is called as center of curvature of spherical mirror now what is pole what is pole of mirror the center of spherical mirror is called as pole here it is shown by p the center of spherical mirror is called as pole of the mirror now what is principal axis a line passing through center of curvature and pole is principal axis of the mirror a line which passes through center of curvature and and pole of the mirror is called as principal axis now here f is written what is this f this is principal focus now what is principal focus of concave mirror now principal focus of concave mirror is defined as it is a point where reflected rays are meet together now how we get reflected rays so let us see from first when rays when incident rays parallel to principal axis 
when incident ray falls on concave mirror parallel to principal axis they get reflected and meet in one point that point is called as principal focus of concave mirror now here we are going to see concave now we are going to see principal focus of concave mirror because rays actually meet in one point after reflection but in this case in the convex mirror rays do not meet each other but after reflection rays are spread over so behind the mirror we get one point where we assume that rays are meeting in one point and that is called as principal focus of convex lens but it is not a actual focus point we assume that after reflection rays are meeting in that now what are the images formed by concave mirror the images formed by concave mirror depends on the distance of object from the concave mirror the table which is given in our book is given in the article you can refer the article now what is mirror formula here while giving all the images about the con about the spherical mirrors we are using sign conventions and with the help of sign conventions we are measuring distances of object from the pole distance of image from the pole and distance of principal focus from the pole distance of object from the pole is called as u or is denoted by small u distance of image from pole of the mirror is denoted by small v and distance of principal focus from pole is denoted by f that is called as focal length the relation between object distance image distance and focal length is called as mirror formula it is shown here 1 upon v plus 1 upon u is equal to 1 upon f mirror formula is shown here that is 1 upon v plus 1 upon u is equal to 1 upon f now what is magnification what is magnification of mirrors here magnification is the proportion of height of object to height of image if height of image is h2 and height of object is h1 then m magnification capital m is given by h2 upon h1 that is height of image upon height of object it is related with u and v also with distance of object and distance of image also so magnification m is also given as v upon u that is distance from image a uh, distance from pole of distance of image from pole upon distance of object from pole let us see what are lenses a lens is transparent material bound by two surfaces out of which one is spherical here what is convex lens here convex lens is shown a lens made up of two transparent uh, two transparent material bound by and out of that two parts are spherical now here this convex lens is thicker at the middle than edges now here this convex lens there are two center of curvatures we will see center of curvature afterwards before that let us see concave lens what is concave lens concave lens is the lens whose parts are curved inside here we can see edges are thicker than the middle part now what are concepts related to lenses center of curvature it is the center of imaginary sphere forms the lens now principal axis principal axis is the axis passing from two centers now let us see images formed by convex lens 
images found by convex lens nature of image size of image shape of image depend on the object kept in front of convex lens now what is focal length of convex lens when rays parallel to principal axis incident on convex lens after reflection converge in one point it is called as focal principal focus of convex lens there are two principal focus for convex lens f1 and f2 respectively now what is lens formula previously for mirrors we have seen mirror formula here here a u is the object distance from o v is the distance of image from o and f is the uh, distance of uh, principal focus from o now o is the center of lens now here the lens formula is given such that 1 upon v minus 1 upon u that is equal to 1 upon f the relation between distance of object distance of image and distance of focus from o or for or from center of lens is called as lens formula now what do you mean by magnification of lens magnification of lens is given as ratio of height of image and height of object that is m m is equal to h2 upon h1 where h2 is height of image and h1 is height of object now what is power of lens power of lens is the ability of lens to converge or diverge the rays with respect to focal length 